Hi everybody. I um, yesterday I did this image and posted it to the Facebook groups, and um, I called it Neon Wonderland. And people asked me how I did this. I want to show you in this tutorial how I did this, and maybe you learn something new about MSF shaders. Some of you, I guess, didn't know how to don't know how to make them. And some of you already know, of course, but maybe there's something for you in this tutorial as well. Let's see and get started. So we start with something simple, with a primitive, plain, it's a positive axis, saving two divisions, plain. So here's a normal plane. I work in NVIDIA Array mode. So <coughs> this is a simple plane. And um, like you would have it the normal way. Um, to make something emissive, you need to pick the object, and in your surface tab, you need to pick the shader it has. So to change something. So now I go to my scripts menu because I have my emissive shader here, in the scripts menu. If you don't know how to do it, I will show you. You go to your library, go to the shader presets, iRay, Darts Uber, and you will find the MSF shader here. Right click it and create custom action. That will move your, uh, that will copy your MSF shader to the scripts menu. So here it is. And I use it from here. Now I have a shader and I need something to put, uh, uh, to cast the light on. So I use a sphere. To show you the effect. So, yes, here. And I want to have no light around. So, you can already see there's this, this light from here to here, I'm missing. And we want to change, change it a bit. First, what I do is uh, to set the temperature to 6500 because this is white. And um, <coughs> I change the color in the emission color channel. You can also change the emission color and the temperature. You can see from red and here something bluish. Uh, but I put this to white and change the color here because it's, it's more easy and more comfortable. So we make a red light now and you can see in instantly um, the red light is casting onto the sphere. Um, this is the luminance, that's how bright it is. If it's, it's, this is 5000 and has a, a fast fall off, so this is not very bright, it's not a bright light. If you set it to 10,000, it will be brighter. Yeah, but uh, in, in some cases, you need something like a million or two millions here to, to cast a, a light from the ceiling of, an, of a room. And, to the to the ground, so it's it's way stupid. <laughs> Something stupid is ridiculous to set that high numbers. You can change this to from CD square meters to case kilo CD. So this will raise it by thousand immediately. So you need something like fifty here to have the light from before or less. Yeah, if, if you have it on still on five thousand, uh, you have a white light because. Every bright light is always white, and you can see the color only in the fall off of the light. So change it to something small. I always work with kilo CD per square meter and low numbers. It's up to you. You can decide how you how you want to handle it. I do it this way. Okay. So this was, is a simplest thing uh, to, to 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 light something. If you don't want to use uh, distant or spotlights or point lights, yeah, this is what everybody talks about when they talk about emissive shaders. So let's go to level 19 and um, see how we can turn this one, uh, the standard level 19, into something like this. I don't use the same colors now, but uh, I, I want to show you the concept. Okay, let's go. I prepared the level 19 so with the camera angle here it is and you can see i will render it 
So that's a bright light from the outside. I will in a minute. I will show you first. So I turn it off. I turn the lights off. You can see now it's without any light, and this is was just a um, small amount of environment intensity, and this is a nice incoming light. We can uh, lower it. I have. Oh, no. 0 point, no, no point, 0 point zero 0.05, so something like this. And when we lit up our scene, uh, it looks very, very good. First of all, you need to switch to the surface selection tool. It's up here. And you have your surface tab here. And we start with something easy. You can see the doors glass here. Whenever you point on a surface in your scene, it will show the name and you can hear you can see the wall the metal the metal parts the letter is not uh, single I could choose all the surfaces of the letter single to enlight only the letter but uh, I just want to show how, how it works so this is um, the metal part uh, metal Zero 02 and it will affect some more surfaces not only the letter you will see in a moment but I will start with the door glass so I click here and you can see instantly the frame around all the surfaces that are affected with the name door glass yeah so next is we make it emissive like I told you before from the scripts menu it's the easiest way not to change all, always in your content library, run to your objects and do something and then switch back. So I always have it in the scripts menu, it's uh, very, very easy. So here it is, we have a light now on this door glass, you can see here, the emission temperatures. This we want to 6500, uh, we have a, we have a red door light. We make it uh, two-sided and we make it KCD. So now you can see already with 5000 kilo CD, um, it's very, very bright. So we lower this to something like 50, maybe 75, 50 for the moment is good. It casts a night light. You can see the fall off here on the ground and it um, looks good for the moment. So se selection tool. Now I promised you the letter, yeah, metal 2, and you can see now all the surfaces that are affected and um, we change it on the fly all together, all of them, we change them all together. So next step, make this immersive and 6500, okay. take a nice color, make something, something neon. Maybe neon blue and kilo CD. Now you have it all because the objects are everywhere. You have a blue room, and if you turn turn it down a little bit, now you have a nice blue glowing all around here. There it is. Okay, next part to the ceiling here. So the parts you can see affected with the ceiling here and the railing here. And uh, we make it immersive. Change the emission temperature. Change the color. Yeah, I want, I want to have a bright white in this case. KCD. And lower it to 50, or maybe this one, 75. A little bit something like this. Not so colorful, it's a cold room at the moment, but it doesn't matter. It's not so, not so bad. So next, the lamps on top are um, have the same material soon, metal one, like a lot of other parts. So uh, we need a nice color for them. And myself. And myself. Six thousand. Let's see what we can do with something, something warm, maybe. 
Let's see how it turns out. Yeah, but, but way too bright. Still too bright. It's better. I want to know it because uh, I don't want to have the other lights overcasted by this light. So I want to have them bright, but not too bright so that we can see still the other lights all around so let's see maybe something like this this is to give an overall light to it and now we can turn off the light from the outside so it's yeah it's nice if you have a f um, your Genesis figure down here this will cast a nice light from from the top and um, you can you can uh, see everything clear but with a nice shadow on it so this is the simplest way to to turn things into emissive light the emissive shader and you can really literally turn anything in, into light here is a uh, uh, part of the wall they are concrete but we change this into something glowing Let's green lights and 50 or something like this 25 maybe because it's a lot of them so now you have a good looking scene and it's bright everywhere and it's emissive everywhere and you can use it um, in your own scenes how to make some glowing things yeah that's all it's, it's not more to, to say about uh, this issue emissive shaders uh, for the moment um, it's, it's a really simple way you choose your surface you want to have glowing let's see uh, for here yeah, for uh, colons and strips and that's it now you then you use your color like this and you give it a bright light this uh, this is too much five or just ten so yeah so everything is emissive, almost everything is emissive now here and uh, we learned how to do that you can really really do it on, on any surface you have um, let's load uh, another object I don't know what let's, let's take something from here let's, uh, yeah, so take the chair why not Chair is here. Focus on onto the chair. It has some metal parts here. Here you can see the metal part, and uh, we make it massive. Now change the color to something like this, and raise uh, the minutes. Now it's a glowing part on the chair. It's really easy. Okay. Well, thank you and bye bye and thank you for watching. Bye bye.